stumbled it forward. Oh, effective disposal there. Well done by Cockatoo, who dumped his head. Advantage paid, said the umpire, and the allies just a chance to stem the tide momentarily. They use it well, Jackson, off five foot to Abe Davis, who's an exciting prospect, Kev. Yes, he is a boy that can play both ends of the ground. Jeez, a lovely size. He's about a one nice. And they push forward. Kick inside 50, not great. Hamelman couldn't mark, nor could Coglin, although he did well below his knees. Chance over the top there by Steele did really well. And Hamelman just stuck his big mitts up and clunked the mark 20 from home on a very slight angle plow. Well, first Hamelman just offering up a, an option. They prevail. His lop works his way into space, finds the footy to McGuinness. And now a chance for Steele. Centre circles, delivers forward. Once again, Coglin could perhaps be on the end of this, although he got a really cruel bounce. Oh, well done. He did no favours, although his second effort, fantastic. Just not the precision in the execution on that occasion. And to Hana over the top to Oak. And Kuno is the brother of Ed, of course, from Carlton. So it's Charlie, Charles, and uh, just in the last week has been added to the NAB I uh, AFL Academy. T playing today, of course, is the Australian under-17 side. They're playing in that Australian jumper. Uh, this is the second game that many of these boys have played as the Australian under-17s. They played New Zealand. They missed Nationals again due to injury this year. So he's come back just to the last half a dozen games uh, over there at South Fremantle. But uh, he's a slick mover. Just he's got that turn of speed and uh, that step through the traffic. Straightened up beautifully then. Couldn't finish with his kick. But the way he found space was impressive. On the stroke of quarter time, scores will remain. Bruce managed to neutralise it well. Ball spills free. Hodgson sees an option inside 50. Kick was really good in the end. He saw the defender was out positioned. And in the end, great delivery found Steele. 30 from home on a very slight angle. Well, that's the thing, Shifter. When they're going forward, they're finding a way through uh, virtually every... This year, he's a boy from Balconnen there up in the ACT. Had a fantastic year in his 90s. He's a 19-year-old. Uh, and he'd missed, a, he'd missed a fair bit of footy in his 17th and 18th year. So couldn't get his body together. Has finally got it together this year and shown some great ability. So he's a Giants Academy boy. So he's one that may well end up in the... Here they go. Jones through the centre. Delivers inside 50. No mark taken. Although Coughlin's second efforts have been exemplary today. In the end, ball spills free. Good pressure by the NAB AFL Academy. Ball inside 50 for the Allies. Chance for Coglin ducked his head, tried to work his way through a tight space. Jones was just about put as Hodgson delivers forward. And good mark in the end taken by Howard. Just got separation and kicks now inside 50. Sat it on the head of his teammate there, but he was good enough to take the mark, and that was steal once again. Doesn't he like to push forward? I like that in a wingman. I've got no issue with that whatsoever. He times his run, judges his run. Alongside Kevin Sheehan. My name's Tristan Fernanda, bringing you all the action from the MCG on this picture-perfect grand final day. Steele, for his second, leans back and pushes it right. A minor score makes the margin five points in favour of the Allies. As you can see, 4-2-26, playing 3-3-21. 11 and a half, one bite, no mark paid. All there, just sharked by Francis. Went looking for his teammate there in Dunkley. Followed up really well, did Francis, but... Couldn't regain possession. Howard tackled as he got rid of it. Fortuitously for the Allies, bounces inside the field of play before trickling over. A nice size Howard as well, isn't he? Oh, yeah. We talked of his versatility earlier too, and uh, I'd seen him play mainly in defence, but uh, he's been impressive forward today. 195 centimetres. Gee, nice size. Sullivan tackled. Couldn't get ball to boot. Here's Davis. Trying to rake it in, then knew he had to just keep it rolling forward. Dunkley over the top of it. It was a goal assist from, uh, from Hodgson. So ball tossed back in. It's Cockatoo, third man up. Dunkley, snap round the corner. Narrowly misses. As we see Brad Johnson, boundary side, taking control of the AFL Academy. And he's been a fantastic acquisition. Mark. In the end, coming clear his lot. No 15, but followed up well to receive. Got around the would-be tackle there of Sushams. Came out wider. Full of running here, the Allies. They've probably lifted a notch since being challenged. They move inside forward 50. No mark taken on that occasion. And sort of set them up on the rebound that time. 
I like his potential as well, Terry, sitting play on the wing for the Dandenong Stingrays quite often this year. A boy of 193 centimetres. He can play either end of the ground. He's shown that ability through the midfield and, um, yes, one to really follow for the 2015 season. Good diving mark there by Steele. And kick down the line, ball punch clear and out of play. Want to come back, Kevin, to Reese Matheson. Won the medal named after you, Division 1. Had the desperation and did it very, very well. So still an arm wrestle, 14 point lead to the Allies, but they're coming the AFL Academy. Although, danger signs at the moment. Jones had possession, kicked towards Steele, picks himself up. Davis could have gone for that mark and instead left it for Ubergang. Good name that. Kicked inside 50, Howard on the lead, has to accept on the bounce like the handball off. He sits it up, Keys has to stand tall, good pressure applied by foot, won it back for the Allies. Chance for the running steal. Over the top now, Weller will fancy his chances from 45, oh, yeah. pulls the trigger and goals. Perhaps a taste of things to come over the next 10 years for this young... Oh, he's going to be a player, no doubt. Terry Wallace, before him Kevin Chee and Tristan Fernandez, my name. We hope you're enjoying coverage of this curtain raiser. Live and exclusive on afl.com.au. If you don't have a ticket, it's the only way you can see this game. As the Allies win it out of the centre, here he is on cue. Just tumbles it backwards. Foot had space, retreats by hand to steal. Who looks up ahead, kicks inside 50. It went over the head of Austin, who's pushed forward. Now a chance for Cole. Bendigo boy just tumbles it round the corner. In the end, not a bad kick. Assess things quite well under... And some people at home, Kev, might be wondering how the academy squads are selected. If you could just shed some light on the that process. Yeah, so we have, it's now known as the NAB AFL Academy. They pick two squads a year. 25 players picked out of the AFL Under-16 Championships and 35 players picked in their 17. Kick two for the leading player, McGuinness. No mark taken. And... The NAB AFL Academy boys get out of jail, although they put themselves back under pressure. Steele just burst through traffic at speed. His kick needed to be pinpoint inside 50. No mark taken. We've got two minutes left in this third term. Chance for Andrews. Walks inside 50. The big man does the discipline thing. Tries to season. I spoke to him before the game and he was wrapped just to be out there playing. So to be out there and playing really well must be really um, encouraging for him heading into the draft. Well, uh, you talk about giving uh, an award for best on the ground. He'll be right up there. Yeah, and Nico Kearney was good, obviously, in the first half. Outstanding. Caleb Pislop's come home in the second half. I think he's up to 22 disposals. But Nico Kearney... Andrews, another decent-sized player. Chips inboard. Jones has been busy. Kicks now looking for steel. Terry's liked his game. A 19-year-old player. And he marks. Kicks short. Good mark. And Tugel Howard. Didn't worry about the oncoming traffic. Just clunked it on the pate of 50. Went back. Steel followed up. To go with it. But obviously missed that one. His kicking is a real asset. I think he has some penetration and some skill and some poise. So... Really offers something for clubs looking for that sort of range in the top 10. Look, there's been players that have had more of the ball, but I think he's been the most dominant when he's had the ball in his hands. We see Isaac Keane, he's had 16. Hasn't been an outstanding game by Isaac Keane's uh, sort of standards, but uh, look like he's been... Off Monday, all the trade tour, you'll hear some draft preview stuff. You'll hear some stories of diamonds in the rough. And Kel, you'll join that particular program in the second week. As well, I found his way through a tight passage, as the very best managed to do. He kicked out to Steele, southern side wing, flicked it to handball over the top. Jones one way, then another. Should give it back to Steele. Does so, and now they're just fattening up the stats. They'll retreat, and the mark will be taken by Mattingly. He'll affect the switch, and Jackson kept it well by Kieran Collins. He picked himself up, laid it off to the running Kurno. And his kick not great. Down the throat of Hodgson. Steele's kept running all day. He loops it wider. They move inside 50. Well out towards goal. Hits the woodwork. So the academy's boys down back. They've done a great job. And speaking of Jason Saddington, this is his last involvement with the Allies. He'll be taking up a position with the GWS Academy in 2015. And we wish him well. He's done a fantastic job with this particular group of players and also his 
New South Wales ACT under 18s as the kick went inside 50 and Wiedering's been go. He leans back. It's a high ball inside 50. Archie from the side brought it to ground. Trying to do the roving. Once again, Jackson linking with Jones in, and they've been really cohesive back there as Terry pointed out moments ago. Gee, Aiden Johnson thought he was through for a goal. <laughs> he did. His eyes lit up there. <laughs> the spark well and truly out of this game now. Both sides are Tad Cass.